Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ira. Today we are looking at 10 beautiful Ukrainian words. I really like the way they sound. Some of them have negative meaning or the meaning is not that positive, but I really love the way they sound. So your task will be to test yourself whether you know these words or not. 10 words, 10 points. Let's see what you will get. Plus, we will also look at the sentences with these words. We will be learning a word not separately, but in a sentence, which is really great to be able to use the word, to be able to see how or when you can use the word. So, are you ready to boost your vocabulary? If so, let's get started. Before we get started, please support this channel with your likes and comments. It would be really, really appreciated. All right, the first word is zastosunok. Zastosunok. You might hear people say dodatok, but a better Ukrainian word is zastosunok. Zastosunok, що це? It's an app, a phone or mobile app. Zasto sunok. And a sentence. Vstanovit nash mobilny zasto sunok sobi na telefon ta otrimajte dostup do nashich materialiv. It's a long sentence. I know. Sometimes it's difficult for you to work with long sentences, but Actually, working with longer sentences will give you an ex access to the to more words in Ukrainian, you know. So from such a long sentence, you will be able to learn more Ukrainian words. This is the purpose why usually I introduce long sentences for you. Встановіть наш мобільний застосунок. Встановлювати, встановити ту інстал. So, install our phone app, mobilny zastosunok, sobi na telefon, on your phone, ta otrimajte dostup and get an access to naszych materialiv, to our materials. Vstanovit nasz mobilny zastosunok sobi na telefon, ta otrimajte dostup do naszych materialiv. One more sentence I have with this word. Вона відкрила застосунок, щоб знайти двохвилинну медитацію для негайного заспокоєння. Вона відкрила застосунок, щоб знайти двохвилинну медитацію для негайного заспокоєння. Вона, she, відкрила, opened, застосунок, an app, щоб знайти in order to find, щоб знайти, двохвилинну медитацію, two-minute meditation, двохвилинну медитацію для негайного заспокоєння, in order to immediately негайно, негайного, to immediately calm down. Вона відкрила застосунок, щоб знайти двохвилинну медитацію для негайного заспокоєння. Odre za sto sunok. Again, you might hear people say dodatok, but a better Ukrainian word is za sto sunok. I remember a couple of years ago, one of the students asked me, so how do you translate in Ukrainian an app? And I was like, I didn't know because I always use an app, like in English, an app, an app. But actually, there is a beautiful Ukrainian word Zastosunok, that you and of course me, they, we both have to use it. All right, the next word is serce bytya. It's a long word. Serce bytya. Serce bytya. Serce, I hope that you know, it's a heart. Serce bytya. Heart beat. Can be povilne, slow. Tak can be швидке, fast, and can be 
о прискорене, швидке о прискорене, серце биття. Серце биття – it's a noun in the neuter gender, that's why I use my adjectives also in the neuter gender. Швидке, повільне, прискорене серце биття. And a sentence. Щойно залунав м'який голос. Дівчина заплющила очі і глибоко вдихнула, намагаючись вгамувати шалене серце биття. Again, a long sentence. Щойно залунав м'який голос. As soon as the mild voice was heard, залунав. Дівчина заплющила очі. The girl closed her eyes. Заплющила очі. Заплющувати, заплющити очі. To close eyes we use. Заплющувати a verb. О, заплющити очі. І глибоко вдихнула. And deeply inhaled. To inhale, вдихати, вдихнути. Намагаючись вгамувати шалене серце биття. Trying to calm down the heartbeat. Шалене is like crazy heartbeat. I'm not sure you're using the crazy with heartbeat, but шалене серце биття. Again, let's read this long sentence. Щойно залунав м'який голос. Дівчина заплющила очі. Й глибоко вдихнула, намагаючись вгамувати шалене серце биття. Отже, серце биття. One word. The third one. Ямочка. Ямочка. Very often we use ямочки. In plural. Maybe you know a Ukrainian word, yama, which is a pet, yama, a hole, a pet, but yamochki. Yamochki are dimples on the cheeks or maybe on the chins some people have. Tag yamochka, yamochka. Okay, and we have a sentence. Чоловік посміхнувся. Показавши милі ямочки на обличчі на щоках. Чоловік посміхнувся. The man smiled. Посміхнувся. Показавши. Showing. Милі ямочки. Cute dimples. Ямочки. На обличчі. On the face. На щоках. On the cheeks. Чоловік посміхнувся, показавши милі ямочки на обличчі, на щоках. Отже, now you know, ямочка, ямочки. Номер чотири – забобон. Забобон, забобон. Unfortunately, this word we use often when we talk about Ukrainians, their character in general as a, as a nation. Well, not about every Ukrainian, but it's quite, quite common here. Maybe more among older people, that older generation, not, not among the young people. Zabobon, superstition. Zabobon, and an adjective, zabobonny. Zabobon, zabobonny. Окей, і один екзампл сентенс. Вона розуміла, що це було схоже на забобони, чи взагалі на дурницю. Вона розуміла, що це, she understood, she realized, вона розуміла, що це, that something, that it, was, було схоже, was look like superstition, забобон, забобони, plural, superstitions, or or even more на дурницю, чи взагалі на дурницю. Дурниця – нонсенс. Вона розуміла, що це було схоже на забобони, чи взагалі на дурницю. So, 
she realized that it, that this situation looked like superstitions or nonsense. Za bobon, za bobonny. Okay, one more I have. A vy za bobonny? Ni, ja ne za bobonna i ne vieru za bobony. A vy za bobonny? Are you superstitious? Ni, ja ne za bobonna. No, I'm not superstitious. I ne vieru za bobony. And I don't believe in superstitions. Ne vieru v za bobony. Tak. Common superstitions in Ukraine. Poširenje za bobone. Of course, a black cat runs across the, the road, the street, or in front of you. So the first one who crosses that road, that, that let's say, that line of him, of it, well, that will lead to some unhappiness, to bad luck. Tak, this one, this is a common one. Se poširenje za bobon, people believe in it. Tak, čorni kit perebih dorogu, trapica nešastja. The black cat ran across the road. Well, that will lead to bad luck. Trapica nešastja. Čorni kit. Ok, also the next one. Ne svestite u hati. Do not whistle in the house, in the flat. Tak, bo ne bude rošej. Because you won't have money. Don't whistle in your house. That's interesting. Ne svestite v hati. Dobre. Ah, this one is also popular, common one. Kto sperišel dorogu s pustim sporožnim vidrom? So, if someone crosses the road in front of you with an empty bucket, this also leads to bad luck or you will be without money also. Tak, trapec se ne šťastja. Some bad luck will happen to you. To je sparišo v dorogu z pustim vidrom. And there are many, many superstitions people in Ukraine, unfortunately, believe in. I think I have to make a lesson about superstitions in Ukraine to compare to the superstitions maybe you have in your country. So if you want such a lesson, I will gladly make it for you. Um, and also I will be happy to hear. I'm not that happy because I don't want people to believe in superstitions, but it will be interesting for me to know about the superstitions in your countries. So be so kind to share. The next word for today is ne dolik. Ne dolik. We hear ne, so something negative. Yes, disadvantage, flaw, some mistake. Ne dolik. Ja zavždy prehodžu raniše. Znaju, znaju, ce mi ne dolik. Ja zavždy prehodžu raniše. I always come or arrive earlier. Raniše. I know, no, znaju, znaju, ce mi ne dolik. I know it's my disadvantage or I don't know, floor. It's, uh, so ne dolik. It's my negative feature. Why? Well, I don't know why. But actually, I don't think it's negative feature. <laughs> it's quite a positive to be always in time and to arrive earlier. Ne do lik. Ja zavždy prehodžu raniše. Znaju, znaju, ce mi ne do lik. Nomor šist. Plitkar, plitkarka. Plitkar, a gossiper if male. Tak, if he, plitkar, if she, plitkarka. Plural, gossipers, plitkari. And our sentence. To ves cej čas vy znali? Vy komus rozpovili? Zvisno ni, ja ž ne jakaś stara plitkarka. To ves cej čas vy znali? So... You knew about this during all this time, the whole time you knew about this. Vy komus rozpovili? Did you tell to anyone? Vy komus rozpovili? Zvisno ni, of course not. Ja ž ne jakaś stara plitkarka. I'm not some kind of an old gossiper. I'm not an old gossiper to tell everyone. Ja ž ne jakaś stara plitkarka. To ves 
цей час ви знали? Ви комусь розповіли? Звісно, ні. Я ж не якась стара пліткарка. Добре, добре, добре. Номер сім. This I really, really love. Залюбки. Залюбки – синонимс – охоче or задоволення. Залюбки. Do you know this word? Залюбки. Or it's synonyms – охоче, задоволення. Even з радістю. Залюбки means gladly, with pleasure, with joy. Especially when someone asks you, like, can you help me? Чи можеш ти мені допомогти? Так, звісно, залюбки. Gladly, happily, maybe, with joy, with pleasure. Залюбки. Хочу тобі віддячити за сьогодні. Чи не бажаєш зі мною повечеряти? Так, залюбки. Хочу тобі віддячити за сьогодні. I want to thank you for today. Чи не бажаєш зі мною повечеряти? Do you want to have dinner with me? Чи не бажаєш зі мною повечеряти? Так, залюбки. Yes, with pleasure. Так, залюбки. So, learn this word if you don't know and use it. This one is really cute. Залюбки. Oh, one more example. І я ніяк не змушу тебе передумати. Ні, але я залюбки прийму твою допомогу. So, I won't be able to if I won't be able to make you to change your mind. І я ніяк не змушу тебе передумати, передумати to change mind. Ні, але я залюбки прийму твою допомогу, but I will gladly receive or accept your help. Але я залюбки прийму твою допомогу. Окей, okay, the next one is що духу. Що духу? We can put an, a question як. So it's an adverb. And what does it mean? Що духу? Дух, by the way, is a spirit. But it has nothing to do with a word, with an, an adverb, що духу. Що духу means as soon as possible, як найшвидше. It means very, very quickly, very, very fast. We are using it when we are talking about running, maybe walking, but more about running, driving, що духу. And an example sentence for you. Дівчина що духу мчала вулицями рідного міста. Дівчина що духу мчала вулицями рідного міста. Мчати. Дії слово мчати means to move very fast. It already means moving really, really fast. So adding що духу maybe makes it a little bit too much exaggerated, but... We use it sometimes, but actually we can use them together. Дівчина що духу мчала вулицями рідного міста. The girl was running, at, or we don't know whether running or walking, but maybe walking not, or maybe driving. We don't know what, in, how she was moving, in what way. So, дівчина що духу мчала вулицями рідного міста. By, uh, in the streets of her native town. Вулицями рідного міста. Мчати що духу. Дев'ять. Навшпиньки. Навшпиньки. To stand on the toes. Maybe there is an English word to tiptoe. To stand on, стояти на шпинках. Так, and an example sentence. Він був нижчий за сестру, яка без підборів мала 170 сантиметрів. Тож йому довелося стати на шпиньки, 
щоб з полички дістати сковорідки. Навшпиньки. Він був нижчий за сестру. He was shorter than his sister. Він був нижчий за сестру, яка без підборів, who without heels, підбори heels, мала 170 сантиметрів, had 170 сантиметрів. Yes, we are Ukrainians, we measure the height in, of a person usually in centimeters. 170 сантиметрів. Тож, йому довелося стати на вшпиньки, so he had to stand on his toes, на вшпиньки, так, щоб з полички, in order to take, in order to reach to the сковорідки, frying pans from the shelf. So he had to stand on his toes. Він був нижчий за сестру, яка без підборів мала 170 сантиметрів, тож йому довелося стати на вшпиньки, щоб з полички дістати сковорідки. Окей, це beautiful word. It sounds really cute. На вшпиньки. The last one for today is на призволяще. It's a long word. I, like, I really love how it sounds. На призволяще. На призволяще. But the meaning is not that cute. The meaning is to leave someone without care. Mm, like to abandon maybe if it's maybe the, you leave the, the building, the flat. To leave someone or something without taking care of it. That would be the meaning in English. Na prizvoljaše. And an example sentence. Vy ж знаєте, у цю пору року я не можу покинути пекарню на прозволяще. Ви ж знаєте, so you know that in this time of a year, у цю пору року, я не можу покинути пекарню. I cannot leave the bakery. На призволяще. Without, I don't know, taking care of it. Without um, um, attending it. <laughs> you understood what I mean. Накинути на призволяще. Покидати, покинути на призволяще. Так, and the answer to this kind of statement is Ніхто не збирається кидати її на призволяще. Я заміню твоє місце. So nobody is going to abandon it. I will take your place. Ніхто не збирається кидати її на призволяще. Я заміню твоє місце. So these were 10 cute, really Ukra uh, Ukrainian words I wanted to share with you. Now let's take a quick test to test, to check whether you learned these words, whether you know the meanings. So I'm going to read in English and your task is to translate into Ukrainian. An app. Dodatok, or better to use, zastosunok. За стосунок. Хатбіт. Серце биття. Серце биття. A dimple dimples. Ямочка ямочки. Superstition. За бобон. За бобон. Disadvantage. Flaw. Mistake. Не долік. A gossiper. Він пліткар, вона пліткарка. As soon as possible. As fast as possible. Що духу? Що духу? On the toes. На вшпиньки. На вшпиньки. 
Tak. And the last one, to live without care, to abandon. Na prizvoljašče. Na prizvoljašče. Okay, thank you so much for watching this very long lesson. I hope that you find it helpful and useful. Again, thank you for supporting me and this channel. And see you soon. Pa pa. Do pobačenja. Šťastlivo.